This is the borderland that lies between the countries of Egypt and Israel. As it is today, so it was a thousand years before the birth of Jesus of Nazareth. Even then, these boundaries were kept ablaze with the fires of hatred and conflict. Each side prided themselves on the efficiency of their spies, but kept themselves always on the alert. Soldiers of David, commanded by his son and heir, Adonijah, Prince of Israel. A chariot moving along the road. Stop the fool, whoever he is. Prince Solomon. Is my brother here? Prince Adonijah is at the top of the hill. Follow me. Here. On our way to Jerusalem, we got word that the Egyptians were on the prowl again. I thought you might need some help. <laughs> You're better suited to the singing of songs than for exploits on the field of battle. Our father David was a singer of songs, but he's also a mighty warrior. Where are the Egyptians? They thought to trap me, to rush in on our camp and kill us while we slept. But we're not sleeping. Give me your orders. <laughs> this is not your kind of game, brother. I never thought of it as a game. I fight by your side. And the sword of victory, Solomon. And the shield of God and the Niger. Spread out and kill them all!
Once again, the Pharaoh will have reason to remember the name of Adonijah. Let him write it in the blood of his dead. Too long the soil has been bathed in blood. You lost your taste for blood now that the heat of battle is over? After seeing the glory of victory, the greater glory of peace makes itself known. Peace is for women and children. Now let me cleanse my mouth of the stench of the Egyptians. To a new victory, one by the Prince of Israel, to the warrior Prince Adonijah. To Adonijah. To your glory, brother. May it ever increase the glory of Israel. Israel. There'd be much greater glory if these hands of mine were not shackled by command of my father.